Mrs. Cheeseman made at the music room than Mr. Betcher made at the billiard room. We have a lot of history in here in that our, all of our governors, since we became a state, are displayed on that wall. <coughs> Excuse me, in or the order in which they were elected. Oh, from in, in a, like a book would be from left to right and up to yes, down? Yes, yes. And Governor Ritter is the bottom right hand. Oh. On the on this wall, back just past the bar, we have Mr. Cheeseman, who started the building of the home, and Mr. Batcher. And then this grouping is our territorial governors. Before, yeah, I took Before Colorado, they became a state. I took Colorado history in college. Uh huh. Good for you. I didn't get an exceptional grade, but. I got a great idea of what's going on. That's great. On this wall, these are the governor's wives, the territorial governor's wives, and then the governors during the time uh, oh. since we became a state. And the bottom picture is Mrs. Ritter, our current governor. Oh, I don't remember what she looks like. Oh, wow. When Mrs. Betcher died in 1958, the Betcher Foundation offered the mansion to the state of Colorado with $200,000 for remodeling and upkeep, and it was a very controversial thing. The state originally decided and refused the offer, but they felt the home was too ostentatious and would cost too much to maintain, so they originally refused it. And they were in the process of inventorying all the furnishings to put them up for sale when the powers that be in the state decided to accept the offer of this as the governor's mansion. Now, our first governor who lived in the mansion was Governor Steve McNichols. And that's his, his picture with his wife and children on the steps of the mansion. Yes, uh, Mc this is Steve McNichols. The other McNichols was our mayor of Denver. Oh, Denver for quite a while. That was his brother. Oh. And I never thought about it, but I am not sure which McNichols the arena was Bill. named after. Oh. Was it Bill? Okay, the mayor. And then, so that's our, our first governor that he moved in in 1960. That's him in this building? Yes. Oh. And this has been the governor's mansion ever since then. This is the current governor and his family, the picture on the left. Oh, I like their shirts. <laughs> mm -hmm. The uh, carved elephant here is a single piece of red amber. It's very unusual to find amber in a big enough piece that it can be carved like that. Oh, so it's a rare stone? In that size, it's rare. Yes. And uh, am I seeing one of those? Uh, those are Rocky Mountain sheep. Sheep, yes. Uh, Very. I seen one. I didn't see. I didn't see one last year at Washington Canyon. Uh huh. And when I was looking, we were looking for them. Well, maybe you'll get up again this year and see one then. Do, um, do you ever use the fireplace? That is a working fireplace. It is a gas fireplace now. Oh. It's not a log burning fireplace. But it puts out heat? Yes, oh. I'm sure it does. And then people just sit around it? Or sure. Sure. Wow, this would be really comfortable in there. <laughs> 